What's going on, my sweet summer children? Fens the Spook, back from a little vacation. I'm glad to see everybody still here. The tribe's holding together. See y'all been doing your thing. Riggs, Comet Crypt, AFTA, Charlton, bunch of y'all, man. Been putting the videos out. Fred Hall, basically daily. I love it, man. i just been uh, a little bit off the grid, you could say. I, um, <coughs> excuse me. I uh, sort of unplugged from the social media thing for a while, quit going on YouTube, um, got rid of my Facebook entirely, which I'm not going to go off on that, man, but I haven't regretted it once. And uh, I don't know. It's just been a, it's just been, excuse this creaky chair. It's just been real nice, man. Kind of unplugged, just hanging out with some friends. I mean, doing some gaming and stuff like that, but just staying off the internet for the most part. And kind of been enjoying things man but i think it's about time to you know, time to get back i think is what i was trying to say there you know the summer's on the wane soon the autumn will be here so uh one of my favorite times of year i think my videos are the best in the fall and the winter uh right now we're just going through my eerie publications collection just some background stuff um I've gotten a lot more since my first video on the Eerie Pubs, so you can always check that out if you want to see how it's grown. This is the only one I'm one of a few I might comment on. You'll notice the title is rather uh, familiar. This is uh, Eerie Publications. This is not like Eerie the, the magazine. Eerie Publications, just kind of a schlock secondary ripoff magazine that just used a lot of old people's stories and you know redid the art took the text, you know, ripped people off. The interiors are real shoddy, like the dates don't match. Sometimes they just reuse whole tables of content and stuff. Anyway, I've done a video on these, I'm not going to go into it too much, but if you're interested, you can check that out. It's like one of my first few. Um, but anyway, this one in particular is notorious because obviously that title, um, Tales from the Crypt, you know, it's, uh, EC had the rights to that long before this came out. So, uh, well, the story goes, they produced this one issue, Tales from the Crypt, and then got a cease and desist letter from EC, and which, you know, at that point they just switched over to Tales from the Tomb or something like that. So, just throwing that out there, cool little tidbit, I've actually never seen one of those before, so I was real excited to get that. And I actually got that, oddly enough, at like one of those mega comic stores, uh, it's called Acme Comics in, in Florida, and uh, it's just like a mega grocery store size comic book store that like you would think like everything had been picked over there's nothing good to find everything's overpriced but there you go so anyway back to what i was saying here uh, i think i got the light finally uh oh i can see my fan hang on let me turn that off i can see the fan blowing in the background let me turn that off let's try that but otherwise yeah i think i got this uh pretty good man i mean i got some shadow issues going on but i'll take shadows over glare any day of the week so hopefully this is a little bit better um man what was i saying i'm all over the place tonight yeah i don't know but yeah i've got a new setup uh you know so i'm just gonna kind of be getting back into things i have been acquiring a lot of stuff over the summer and the spring and that was part of the problem y'all to be quite honest i was just doing that thing where i'd go to a convention get a stack of books come back make a stack in my room and just kind of leave them there you know go through them bag and board them of course but it was just to the point where I had like stacks of comics and magazines all over my room um and I just was like shutting the door I wasn't even coming in here because I didn't want to deal with it and I had to force myself to just spend the entire weekend getting everything in order and I'm glad I did and now I'm back I don't know it kind of gave me the uh having everything cleaned up and in in its proper place kind of gave me the motivation to actually do a video here so there's that. Also, another thing kind of keeping me down, I don't even know if I, I'm definitely not going to go on about this at length, maybe some other day, but I made a trade. I traded one of my biggest books away, and I got equivalent value for it. I mean, it's not like I got ripped off, but I should not have done it. I've been regretting it since, uh, and it's kind of it kind of put a bad taste in my mouth on comics for a while, and the worst part is it's a good friend of mine. He kind of knows I regret the deal, but I don't know if he understands the extent of it. But, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, honestly, he would probably fix, make, let me go back on the deal if I made a fuss about it. But it's just you can't do that kind of stuff, man. You make a deal. You do the deal. I don't know what I was thinking or what kind of mood I was in when I made that deal. But I was, I'm just mostly, most unhappy about it. And kind of left me sour there for a little while. But, you know, shit happens. Life goes on. You know what I mean? 
can't cry over spilt milk. So just another thing that was kind of keeping me from doing too much comic stuff. I wasn't posting any videos. I wasn't really watching any videos. I just, for a little while, their comics had a negative association in my mind. But hey, you know, I did it to myself. And that's really the bottom line. I just got to take it in the future to be more careful and make sure that I'm uh, thinking things through. You know what I mean? So, anyhow, what's been going on with y'all? I'm going to get these down, put some new ones up. What's been going on with y'all? Going to the Jacksonville show this weekend. Oh, I see. I got to keep them over here to get them out of the shadow. Under okay, That's the limitation. So going to a Jacksonville show this weekend, Jacksonville Comic and Toy Con, should be pretty awesome. Uh, if you're within driving distance of Jacksonville, Florida, I would definitely check it out. Uh, they got 100 vendors this time. Last time it was 50, so I'm growing substantially. Uh, the guys putting it on are the same guys who do the Daytona show, which is huge. Um, and a personal friend of mine who's also setting up there uh, is... A, I guess co-owner of it so good people running it it's really cheap to get in I think it's five bucks maybe eight bucks absolute maximum hundred vendors should be like probably 80 percent comics some toys and stuff like that should be really cool I'm looking forward to it funds are a little limited just had to get some stuff for the house and uh, some car stuff done so I have to be a little bit conservative in what I'm buying but uh, you know otherwise we should be all right and you know how I go, guys. I'll go with, you know, a certain amount of cash in my pocket and come home with all the cash gone and then probably a little bit on the credit card because, you know, I just saw a deal I just couldn't pass up, man, and blah, blah, blah. You know, I have to have excuses ready for my wife ahead of time. <laughs> so anyway. So yeah, basically this is just a, I don't want to say a welcome back video because, I mean, how do you throw yourself a welcome back video? That's a little bit arrogant, but you guys know what I mean. Eh? I'm back. Probably expect some more videos in the future. Uh, well, definitely expect some more videos in the future, but, you know, appreciate everyone sticking with me. I surprisingly have more subs than I let have when I left, which is, I don't understand that at all, um, but I'm grateful for it. Actually, it was odd, like the last week or two, yet another thing that kind of got me on the mood to make the videos i got notified that like i got like five or six more subs in the last week or two like i have no idea somebody must have referred my videos or something because i certainly am putting out any content and uh some of the last stuff i put out was you know not for everyone anyway but whatever speaking of which just throwing this out there while we're wrapping this up what's up with the new youtube interface i hate it i'm going to the creator studio nothing looks the same show me all these i don't know man i mean I get they're trying to move everything toward the monetization, but for guys like me that don't even use the... I'm trying to move a little quicker so we can get through all these magazines. That's a really dope one. That's probably one of my favorite covers there. Um, these are nasty, man. These magazines are nasty. Uh, these are kind of the, one of the reasons I like these so much is they're just... Ugh, like the scene. They're not afraid to so, show some schlock, you know what I'm saying? Like creepy and eerie kind of... I always felt kind of pulled their punches a little bit, but these do not. Too bad the material inside ain't really that great this is the gem in the crown of the eerie publications this thing is this this might be like the filthiest cover i own in any for anything i mean this is just horrible man so you kind of see now why i like these things they're just super crazy super filthy um we got a couple more to go here. But anyway, so I just wanted to say, hey, guys, I'm back, and I'll be doing some videos here. Maybe we'll do the rest of these Eerie Pubs. I got another stack we didn't even get to, um, you know. But I, I generally like to have something to talk about before I make these videos. Cause otherwise, I just, like right now, I'm kind of just rambling, not really saying much, you know what I mean? So probably I'll, maybe after the Jacksonville show, I'll come back and give a report, let, let you know how things went there. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. The Jack shows on Sunday, so maybe another video Sunday night or Monday night. Um, you know, kind of letting y'all know how things went there and anything I picked up, anything cool. Uh, if you're going to be there, holler at me in the comments, man. We can meet up, say what's up, you know, maybe trade something if you got something cool. So, anyway, Fens the Spook, just checking in with y'all in the summer. Let me try that again. Fens the Spook, checking out with y'all in the waning summer days. There we go. Having some trouble tonight, folks. Thanks for sticking with me. See you soon. Bye-bye.